Welcome to the Indom Sports Complex here in Elmina. It's a game between Elmina Sharks and Liberty Professionals, and we're live on your Star Times Adipa TV channel 247. It's 30 degrees Celsius here, and it's a good weather for association football. My name is Nana Dakwa Jesse. I'm your commentator for this afternoon's game from the Indom Sports Complex. Daniel Obin Crinsel is leading his charges out of the tunnel for this game. Elmina Sharks have been impressive in their last five matches and they want to keep up with the momentum. Last week, Hasselbeck struggled to beat them. Eventually, that game ended in a draw and they know too well they cannot, they cannot drop points here. Liberty Professionals, they beat Karela. 1-0 in Accra. We want to keep up with the winning ways and better their position on the league log. So there we go. They're out of the tunnel. Michael Ampedu, captain for Liberty, leading his charges with a mindset of returning to Dantoman with all the points. And the next 90 minutes will determine Mubarak Al Hassan, he's playing against the Omina Sharks for the first time since joining Liberty. It's a new territory for him. <laughs> Elmina Sharks spotting their favorite home strips of green and white and liberty in their blue red and white jerseys sharks have green socks to match on liberty they also have blue socks to match their jerseys so we go for the toss of coin two captains ready michael and pedu and then Daniel Obin. Daniel Obin gets to win the toss. He chooses where Sharks will play from. Liberty will do the kickoff. Abdullah Ibrahim is our center referee for today. He's assisted by Patrick Papala and Augustin Dakura. Our fourth official is Ali Musa. So this is the Elmina Sharks lineup for today. They are missing the services of their top man, Benjamin Boatin. Ishmohamon comes into this team. Samuel Atta goes to the bench. So it is Owusu and Cheneboa leading the attack with Alaji Mustafa and then Richard Pon from the fence. Elmina Sharks. The last time they lost their home game was back in October 2017 against Great Olympics and Yahweh Champon, former player of Real Society. His coach in Tarlis and Ashanti Gold in the Ghanaian Premier League. So Liberty, Isa Kaimano returns to the lineup. Mubasha Isa comes in. Enes Danso as well as Wayo. All of them returning to the squad after they were dropped in that Karela game. Elvis Chebafo is leading the attack with Mubarak Al Hassan playing right behind Elvis Chebafo. David Oklu is former coach of Maranata Club of Togo. He also had stints with Wa All Stars, now Legon City's FC. He's a calf license A holder. Great technical mind. And the fans are pumped up their charge. They get a positive vibe that it will be a super Saturday for the people in Elmina.
So, we're getting ready for the kickoff here at the Indom Sports Complex. The Indom Sports Stadium. All befits this beautiful edifice. Referee Brian Whistles and game gets underway. It's Elmina Sharks and Liberty Professionals. Daniel Obin Crenshaw. Adam sets the ball down. Here is Michael Ampid who tries to put one two for Wayo. Wayo does what to hang on to it. He's got Ishma Hamon to beat. And Pedro creates space, but while he goes in, he was looking for Che Balfour's run in the box. Daniel Crenshaw. That's a foul. Free kick for Elmina Shaks. The first free kick of the afternoon. So Isaka clearly beaten by Crenshaw. Isaka Mohammed. Here's Ishno. Benjamin Cheneboa. He loses possession to Ampedu. Adams was overdoing it. He got himself in trouble, but he's managed to get the ball out. So two games were cleared in the Premier League yesterday. Legon City, they won emphatically against Wafa, beating them 4-1 and Asante Kotoko. They got a solitary win in that game against Karela at the Akun Park in Takwa. Daniel Crenshaw. Shenebua loses possession. Alaji Mustafa. That was a handball against Edmond Asedu. Isaka, Michael Sefa, and Pedro. Wayo is pushed down by Dennis Mensa. Felix Abouadji, former Liberty Professionals assistant coach, watching on with some keen interest. Dennis Mensah. Mohamed Adams will not take chances, gets the ball away from Chuneboa. Oh. 
Here's Daniel Crenso for Shanks. Just to the right hand side, he finds Justin Asiedu. Chamber four. Lovely pass. This is why you this can be dangerous. Here is why you for Liberty. He's got two men to confront. That's a foul against Liberty for Shet Targen. Wayo was caught Shet Targen. And he's confused about the decision. We have a second look at it. He seemed to be in the advantage. So clearly, he's fouled his Mohammed. Hamon is trying to look for Dennis Spencer, but Michael Ampedu brilliantly stops the ball from getting out as he controls and finds Mabasha. No. Some of the regular players of this Armenian Sharks team find themselves on the bench today, so surprisingly, Samoa Atta is one of them. Daniel Crenshaw. We've done six minutes here at the Indom Sports Complex in Elmina. Basha with a big boot inside. It's coolly collected by Mohamed Isaka. Done so was trying to put one two for Isaka, but again, Liberty they are yet to find their rhythm and they are yet to play the free flowing football associated with a club. It's a free kick for Elmina Sharks. Donko goes for the short one and is still in play. Daniel Crenshaw. Alaji Mustafa with a touch. Would it be the first goal? Against the woodwork. Unlucky Benjamin Chinibua. Not out of danger. Mustafa said that. No problem for Ganyu. Benjamin Chunibua just unlucky. For once, because he thought it was an offside. Liberty saved by the side post. Mustafa said that didn't have any direction to beat Ganyu. Mustafa to Chunibua. Can he get a first goal? Benjamin Chunibua! Elmino Shakta broke in the deadlock. After nine minutes here at the indoor sports complex, beautiful goal from Benjamin Chenebois. That was some sweet pass from Mustafa. Chenebois had the best of composures. And with the goalkeeper coming out of his area, Chenebois just plays one. On the blind side of the goalkeeper, great goal, and Sharks deserve to be in the lead. Yeah. 
It was always going to be him, Benjamin Cheneboa. We've done 10 minutes in Almina. It's Shaq's one, Liberty zero. Elmina Sharks have won just two home games this season in the Premier League. They beat Emusia Dwarfs 1-0. That was on the 19th of February. And then they beat Brecum Chelsea on the 9th of February by three goals to one. And they are probing for a second goal. Here is Benjamin Cheneboa. He sends a cross in. Not dealt with well by Liberty, but Adams finally gets the ball away. Mubarak Al Hassan. He gets a free kick. Daniel Obin is his former teammate at Wafa and he knows him too well. Decided to stop him even before he could cause any problems. Free kick for Liberty. They were held by Karela on match day one. They played one all, held by Wafa Goalers, held by Olympics in a one all drawn game, and they were also held by 11 Wonders. So those two wins against Dwarfs and Chelsea are the only ones to show for Ampedu's free kick inside. Bawa is out and repels it. Mubarak. Hamon to clear out the danger for Sharks. Seifa. And as Danso was looking for Isaka, but that pass was poor from Danso. Richard Impong. A lot to be going on in his mind. To concede under 10 minutes, it makes the job more difficult. Mustafa. Lovely touch from Impon. And the fans will applaud. It's beautiful from Chats. Crenshaw has given away possession. And Liberty can do something from here. Clever play from Impon. He's tracking back, he's helping the attack, and he's playing well in this midfield, Richard Impon. <laughs> Liberty on the other side have lost two games away in the Premier League. But come to think of it. Liberty have beaten Wafa away and beaten Dwarfs away. They are capable. They've drawn against Kotoko in Kumase. But here is Sharks with another open. Good play. Good save. Not a bad attempt. From Edmond Esiedu. Yellow card for Isaac Donko. First yellow card after 40 minutes to the Sharks midfielder, Isaac Donko. Ampedu 
why you couldn't ring the run. He was pulling. Impon back and for his troubles, Liberty has considered this free kick. Down so. Gani was looking to pick out Ampedu. Free kick pushing from Impol. Adams whips one inside, dealt in by Ishmael Hamon, only as far as Michael Ampedu. Ampedu goes down and it's a free kick for Liberty. Ampedu was part of the Black Meteors team that played in the Egypt Cup under 23 championship for the qualifiers for the Olympics, but he lost his place before the tournament to Kingsley Fobi. And he bends one inside, and Bauer makes a fine save. Calculated. The flight of the ball and with his good height he wasn't going to make a mess of it here is Mubarak Al Hassan go kick good defending from Isaka Mohammed Jealously protecting that ball out even before Mubarak could pounce on it. Why you? He goes down in the box. It won't pass for a penalty. There was contact. But there was some minimal contact. Isaka. Cheba for Mubarak. Puts one through for Wayo. Ampedu is calling. Unable to go past his marker and concedes a throwing in the process. There was a push. But he was always tagging the set of his opponent. And that was a needless challenge. From Edmond de Siedu. Not too sure what his intention was. He just bumped into him. That was overly aggressive from Asiedu.
Michael Ampedu will line up for this free kick for Liberty. It's 20 minutes in Elmina. Liberty free kick. Referee whistles. Ampedu goes for power and it flies over for a goal kick. Daniel Crinsel, lovely turn, he finds Mustafa is brought down by Amufa. Benjamin Chunibwe's goal is separating these two teams at 20 minutes here in Elmina. Alaji Mustafa provided the assist for that goal and so Liberty have doubled up their checks on him. Crenso locks one in. Free kick for Liberty. Mustafa was caught. Fouling his marker. Amufa and Chinebua having some exchanges. So it was a handball. And Mustafa wants to claim innocence. Captain <laughs> Owusu provided the assist actually for. Neymar to score that goal. This is the Elmina Neymar. It's 23 minutes in Elmina. It's Sharks leading by Chinebuas' lone goal. Papaku, George Anso, Fatal Dida, all of them on the bench for Liberty today. Here is Donko, Cheneboa, lovely turn from Esedu, Michael Sefa tries to look for Isaka but Krenso gets the ball back to Mohamed Isaka, Alaji Mustafa to Isaka.
They're playing with some renewed confidence, Elmina Sharks. That flick on by Augustine finds nobody but the Liberty goalkeeper. Richard Impon, Ishmael Hammond, and Pedu is looking for Cheba for lovely control, but Ishmael Hammond pickpockets Cheba for and returns the ball to his goalkeeper. Michael Ampedu, Adams Mohamed. Samuel Amova. There's nothing productive going forward for Liberty. Yet to create any decent scoring opportunity, yet to threaten Elmina Sharks. So both players raise their foot. But it's Sharks who get the advantage from the free kick. Both of them went to up high. Isaka Mohammed tries his luck from that distance and it's a goal kick. Here is Alaji Mustafa. Richard Impon. Back to Mustafa. Cross ricochets Amofa. And that header from Owusu is plucked by Ganyu. Here is Wayo up against Ishmael Hamon. J bar for Ho! Isaka thought Mubarak was behind him. He did the dummy and it didn't work out. Impon. He finds Dennis Mensa. Cheneboa. Bad challenge from Mohamed Adams. Tackling from behind. He went just. On the ankle of Benjamin Chenebo at the goal scorer. Free kick for Elmina Sharks. Impon kills one dip into Liberty's territory. Mohamed Adams gets it out. Then his Spencer controlled it, but he couldn't make it count. Cheba four. Throwing for Liberty. Thank you. 
Liberty professionals will fancy an early substitution. Oklu wants to shuffle his charges right away. George Amwaku will be stepping in anytime soon. But before then, here is Liberty's free kick. Ampedu to Mubarak. He's brought down in a very advantageous position. So Isidu was completely beaten. He had no option than to stop Al Hassan. Free kick for Liberty, there's Isaka, there's Ampedu and there's Cheba for who goes for this free kick. It's 31 minutes. Cheba for took a deflection of the wall and it's a corner kick. It looked pretty good for Liberty. Ampedu swings one in. It's headed away by Dennis Mensah. Chenebois gets the free kick for Sharks. Isaka would not escape. Just right in front of the assistant referee. I see you to Mustafa. Free kick for Elmina Sharks. So Amwaku will get into this game early for Liberty. Yellow card for the Elmina Sachs captain, Daniel Obin Krenzel. <laughs> Issa Mubasha. Is making way for George Amwakon. Not too sure what has informed this substitution by Coach Oku. It's 34 minutes now. That was close from Augustine Ousu. Causing a lot of problems for the Liberty defense. He had all the time in the world around these defenders, as many as four Liberty professional defenders, they took their eyes off and he nearly punished them for that. Free kick for Liberty while you're brought down by Dennis Mensah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Purposeless from Impon. So that's Mabasha. Had to be subbed after 33 minutes. It's 35 minutes here in Elmina. Sharks 1, Liberty 0. Dennis Mensah. I see a due to Benjamin Chenibua. Lovely stuff from Amufa. He won't be taking chances anymore. Free kick for Liberty. I see it brings down Michael Ampedu. Mohamed Adams will be lucky not to get a yellow card for that bad challenge. On Richard Impon. That's the famous Liberty Professionals fan known as Anansi. He's that one man supporter among the Elmina Sachs fans. But he's taking it easy. They're enjoying themselves. Sportsmanship being displayed. No qualms, no quarrels, no problems. Michael Ampedu. Here is Mubarak Al Hassan. He wants to create space. Was looking for Elvis Cheba for Bawayo picks it up. Mubarak, Cheba for his offside. The one two was brilliant, but he didn't time his run well. No mistake about that decision. Michael Ampedu to Wayo. Can he go around Dennis Mensah? Yes, he does win procession. Chamber for what was he thinking? Here is Kofia Mwaku. Wayo with a back kill. Finally, he's cleared away by Isaka. Lovely play from Augustino Uso. Here is Chenebua against Amofa. He goes past Amofa. Benjamin Chenebua. He sets up Mustafa. What a goal! Brilliant goal! Benjamin Chinibua will take the credit. Brilliant work by Benjamin Chinibua. Gusting past Samuel Amofa. And it was an easy tapping for Alhaji Mustafa. This it's truly wet. So this is where it all started. It's like a cleanse it away. And look at this done from Augustine Ousu and that cheeky pass. And look at Neymar. One, two, pew. He goes past Amofa. He could have decided to go for goal here. But he tees up Mustafa. And he makes no mistake. He buries it. Elmina Shaq up by two goes to one and truly they deserve to be ahead.
the Sharks. are gradually making the lights work of Liberty Professionals. Liberty have not been purposeful up front. You can tell that Elmina Sharks know exactly what they want when they get to the final third. Here is Impon. This time, he can't get to the ball. It's 41 minutes. <laughs> Wayo, he's lost it to Isaka. But he's giving away possession again, and it's a liberty throw. There is Michael Ampedu. He swings one in. Baba went in for that ball, but he failed. Here is Enes Danso. Isaka. Mubarak. Ball is cleared away. And it shocks the man down. That's Augustine Oushu. Looks like it's Edmond Esiedu. Yes, it's Edmond Esiedu. So that you see is limping off, it will be disastrous for Yahweh Champion's man if he doesn't come back. He's been a shield actually in front of that back four. Together with Matt Isaac Donko, they've been solid in the middle of a park. Mubarak. Was trying to put one two for Cheba for free kick as Mubarak was fouled by Mustafa. At the Liberty bench, Emmanuel Ofori, the assistant coach, and Alex Amamu, the team manager, they want to combine and see whether they can get a breather before the first half comes to an end. I envisage Mohamed Adams will go for power. Yes, he goes for power. Not far from target. It's a goal kick. 44 minutes in Elmina. Awkward clearance by Richard Impon. Danso heads it back and is away by Kingsville. We are doing just a minute of out of time. Here is Isaka, Mubaraka Hassan. He can't go past those Sharks players. They were about four. Adams. Safer. 
done so against Daniel Robin. Isaka. Seifa. He gives away possession. So we are into stoppage time. It's already 45 minutes and a few seconds to wrap up the first half of this game. Michael Ampedu. Stopped by Dennis Spencer. So, interesting scenario. We have two balls on the pitch. And the referee has whistled to get one out. Cheba four. Isaka. Mubarak. Isaka. He's lost possession. And referee Ibrahim. Abdullah's whistle goal for the end of the first half here at the Indom Sports Complex in Almina. Goal from Alaji Mustafa and Benjamin Chenibwa separates the two sides, but they've been the better of the two. They deserve to be in the lead. They've given Liberty so much to worry about. At the end of the first half, these fans have something to cheer about. It's Almina Sharks 2, Liberty Professionals 0. First half ended 2 0 in favor of Elmina Sharks. Hoping to consolidate their lead, and Liberty will be coming in as wounded lions. They will be looking for a better reaction than what they gave out in the first half. So, getting ready for the second half, Sharks will do the kickoff. There we go, second half underway. Prinsil. Esiedu tries to put one two for Chineboa. Here is Isaka. Wanted to pick out Che Balfour, but it was too early and he couldn't get to the ball. Cheba for penalized for pushing his Mohammed down. Oklu has already effected one substitution and it hasn't impacted positively on the game for Liberty. It's been the same old story. Cheba for is gifted with possession. Isaka gets back to Cheba for He's up against Hammond. Good save from goalkeeper Bauer. Kofia Mwaku, he shoots and it goes wide. Che for getting the better of Hammond. Did well with that left footed drive, but the goalkeeper had it well covered. Lampedu. He's got Impon to beat. Wayo not having the best of games.
At halftime in Accra, Great Olympics were leading Ebusina Dwarf by one goal to zero. They've been inconsistent in picking up points at home, Olympics. Here is Isaka. Again, he was trying to pick out Cheba for he wasn't successful. It's Isaka. It's a clash of the Isakes. This one is Mohamed Isaka. And the other one is Mohamed Emmanuel Isaka. Free kick. This is going to be a yellow card for Richard Impon. He'll be lucky not to go into the books of the referee, Ibrahim Abdullahi. Lucky Impon. Another free kick for Liberty. They are inching closer and closer into the vital area of Elmina Sharks. And Penny goes to NS Bank, so he gets a return. Sends one into the box. Flag is up against Mohamed Adams. The big central defender went up there to have a feel of what has happened in that box of Elmina Sharks. So there you see, Adams was always offside. Liberty are pressing hard and they are giving Sharks no space to breathe. This can be dangerous. It's Benjamin Chinebua against Mohamed Adams. Was trying to pick out a guest in Ousu. Free kick for Elmina Sharks. It's a free kick for Elmina Sharks with that 51 minutes at the Indom Sports Complex in Elmina. Impulse delivery. Oh, what a goal! Against the host, goes onto the score sheet. Well taken free kick by Richard Impulse, and the connection from Ousu was just awesome. Elmina Sachs are on a mission to demolish Liberty professionals. Well taken free kick, tailor measured right onto the head of Augustin Ousu. Beautiful goal, and the goalkeeper was caught ball watching all day. No answers whatsoever. Amwako. Now there they go again. Cheneboa. And Ousu is sprinting forward. Here is a guest to Ousu. Twisting and turning around the Liberty box. What vision he's got. He locates his captain. And Impon, he doesn't even go forward for that one. Heavy touch on that ball by Emmanuel Isaka. Nothing is working for this young chap.
Free kick for Amina Sharks. A worried Liberty bench. That's Abbas. Enes Papako. Impon. He fouls Wayo and Liberty will get the free kick. <laughs> Mubarak Al Hassan. Sefat to Al Hassan again. Lovely two pass to Cheba for back to Al Hassan. He gets a free kick. He's fouled by Isaka Mohamed. Elvis Chamber for will leave for Sefa and Amwako to take this free kick. Wasted effort from Liberty Sefa. It's 55 minutes in Elmina, Sharks 3, Liberty 0. Chenebua against Amufa. You remember how he skipped past Amufa in the first half to tee up one for Mustafa to score. Amufa is very much aware of what Chenebua can do. Liberty will be bringing on Ahmed Sattar very soon. Isaka. Mubarak. And has done so. Done so with a low crossing and is dealt with by Ishmael Harmon. Here is Isaka. He finds Danso. Danso with a cross in. Lovely clearance from Ishmael Hamon. Amofa is making way for Sata. So he pulls out the centre back. Oh, no, 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 no. 
and brings on Satar. Isaka sends a cross in. It should be for Bauer. Yes, it is for him. But he didn't deal with it well. Lovely skill from Wayu. Here is Ampedu. The flag was not up. Not too sure what he whistled for. Yes, he made a wrong call. There was no way that would have been an offside. For a moment, referee Abdullah got confused. Samola Atta will have his turn very soon. Here is Ampedu right in the box. He sends a shot across, but goalkeeper Bauer is there. That was tricky for Liberty. Ousu just did not time his run. And he was indecisive. He could have punished Liberty for that. Can they pull one back? Shame out four. That was close. He could have buried this. He took his time. But look at this pass from Seifa. And then Mubarak just locating back four with a perfect one. The technique in delivering was good, but he just didn't get a direction well. It's still 3-0. Dennis Mensa is making way for Samo Atta for Elwina Sharks. Atta is a regular left back. He sat out today and he makes a return to the team. Free kick for Liberty. Dennis Manson, he's had a decent game. Not a regular player in this team, but he's given a very good account of himself for today. Felix Abouadji, Yahweh Champion is an assistant. Having a mini conference to consolidate their league. So Liberty, don't give him a scare. Yellow card for Michael Seva. Free kick for Liberty. Tried to not make Danso Mustafa and get the ball, but Danso was very much aware. Here is Mubarak Al Hassan. He works to get a ball out, but it didn't just work for him. Esedu. He picks out Mustafa and Daniel Obi is interested. Ball is stopped by Danso. Mustafa switches to Impor. He's got some more actors supporting him. Esedu will assume the duties. 
Lovely touch from Cheneboa. It's a much improved Liberty side from the first time, although they are down by 3-0. They look decent moving forward at this stage. Isaka. Four minutes and Liberty are trailing Sharks by three goals. Good play from Amwaku. He finds Mubarak. Lovely skill from Mubarak. Brought down by Isaka. This is a yellow card. No two ways about that. Yellow for Isaka Mohammed. Free kick for Liberty. Amwaku's delivery is cleared away by Isaka, who committed that foul that resulted in the free kick. Daniel Crinsil. Here is Esiedu. He rushed that pass and it's picked up by Ganu. Here is Mubarak Al Hassan. Mubarak! He's put one back. Mubarak Al Hassan has put one back for Liberty. Fifth goal of the season. Five goals for Liberty in the Premier League season. But has it come at a time that Liberty can really take advantage of the momentum or not? He had the confidence. He went past Hamon to shoot at this stage but the goalkeeper could have done better as shots three liberty one good dummy so it bounced and it beat the goalkeeper and there Anansi goes gay but this is just a constellation he's excited about that Liberty and Sharks have engaged each other in official Premier League matches on two occasions. Sharks have won once and they've drawn once. In the truncated season of 2018, it was 1-1 at this venue. 
and in the NC special competition, Liberty drew goal as here and beat Shaq 3 1 in that summer. But for the Premier League, officially, they've drawn once and Shaq's have won once. That was casual from Isaac Donko. He didn't look business like. Free kick for Liberty. The last time Elmina Sachs lost the league game at home was on the 8th of October 2017 against Great Olympics. Michael Ampedus cross in. Mubarak Al Hassan. Over the top it goes. Kirsten is stars, knowing too well he could have done better by his own standards. Try to take it on a volley. It's 70 minutes here in Elmina, Shaq 3, Liberty 1. Liberty seems to have taken over the midfield in this game. The battle now belongs to Mubarak, Amwaku and Seifa. Isiedu and then Donko have been a pale shadow of themselves in the second half. Samo Atta, Isaac Donko, Ishmael Hammond. Amufa won't take no chances. He has the ball before Augustino Uso would cause any havoc. So Isaka Emmanuel is making way for George Anson. He's been good, but his final balls have let him down. There goes George Anson. He's the nephew of the Liberty President, Felix Anson. His uncle actually owns Liberty Professionals, George Anson. Samuel Atta with a decent cross inside. Would it be the first goal? How could he have missed from that angle? Alhaji Mustafa had all the time to have made it 4-4. Elmina Sachs. Check out this cross from Samo Atta. Brilliant delivery, deep into the box. Controls it well, but the end product letting him down. That was a bad challenge on Impon by Amwako. He'll be lucky not to get a card. Here is Mustafa. But Adams, that's all to pick that one up for Liberty. Without any pressure, he gives possession to the Elmina Sharks. Is this not interesting? He's not moving. A human statue, maybe. I would love to see him combine with the Liberty supporter Anansi. 
and as it makes a lot of noise, but this Chuck's fan is quiet and doesn't move. Here is Wayo. He keeps the ball to Donko. And he allows Samo Atta to tidy up. Liberty seems to be dominating at this stage. George Anson. Square one for George Amwako. Mubarak Al Hassan. Danso. Ball crosses the line. The throwing. The entire circumference of the ball did not cross the line. Difficult call. But whichever way you look at it. Danso could have done better control in that one. It's 75 minutes. Elmina Sharks 3, Liberty 1. Elmina Sharks leading by three goals to one. Goals from Benjamin Chinibwa, Alhaji Mustafa, and Augustino Wusu. What a consolation for Liberty coming from Mubarak Hassan. It was one of Impon's free kicks that resulted in the second, in the third goal. That was from the left hand side, and he delivers from the right. Another header that was pushing in the box. So even if Samoa Atta had scored, it wouldn't have counted. But Impon's, Richard Impon's crosses always pinpoint. Cheba for is brought down by Ishmael Hamon is a liberty free kick in their own area. Dansu goes past import and he must get the yellow card for this. Abdullah Ibrahim must reach his pocket. That was cynical from import. Going straight for the man. There was no way Impon was going to get to that ball. Lucky Impon. Referee doesn't seem to be interested in showing the yellow card to Impon. He must be lucky. Ampedu. Sata. George Anson. He's lost the ball to Crenshaw. Good start from Adams.
Quer essa lá de Mustafa Fó. É o Minashax. Ata. É Cedo. To nobody. So after all the good work, Daniel Crinsell gives the ball away. Substitution for Elmina Sharks. Addington is coming in for Richard Impon. He's had a brilliant game. He assisted in that Augustine Owusu's goal. Addington's first touch. And Donko gives it away. That's poor from Satar. Nine more minutes to go and Liberty trail by three goals to one. <laughs> Foul on Cheneboa, Sata. He's been desperate in his tackle since coming in for Amufa. After Addington, he wants to create space for himself. He finds Arthur, sends a deep cross inside. I guess to know who he pushes Ansel down. Free kick for Liberty. No doubt about the decision. Yellow card goes for Ganyu for time wasting. Dejected faces of the Liberty bench.
Cheba for obvious push on Hammond. Here is some Pedu. So suddenly Liberty Star Power has gone down again. And it looks like Sharks know exactly what they want. They won't rush the ball too much. Just hang on. And then the clock will tick for the 90 minutes to come up. 84 minutes. And it's 85 now. Five more minutes to go. George Anson. Free kick for Liberty. Quickly taken. Here is Danso. Mubarak Al Hassan. Michael Ampedu. He's got space. Can he shoot? Yes, he goes for power. Blocked by Hamon. Back to Ampedu. Tries to play the one two with Wayo. Amwako, this is Mubarak Hassan. He gets the corner. He took a wicked deflection of Isaka Mohamed. So Amwaku tries to lay one onto the path of Mubarak. He also wanted to set up Cheba for, but he credits Isaka. That was some quick intervention from Isaka. Eighty-six minutes, four more to go here in Elmina. from Addington getting overly aggressive Mubarak Al Hassan Benjamin Chinibo has gone quiet in the second half eighty seven minutes Foul on a Seadu. Abraham Wayo. His diminutive figure has not been disadvantageous to him. He's actually played well. Against the big guys of him. Elmina Sharks. Yellow for Addington. Yes, he came in with some kind of aggression. For a player who spent less than 10 minutes on the pitch, Addington must be careful. And this is from behind. That's the danger in it. Immanuel Addington 
Less than eight minutes on the pitch, and it goes into the books of referee Abdullah Ibrahim. Amwaku's delivery, and it's easy catch for goalkeeper Bawa. Mubarak, he failed to control that one. That's unlike Mubarak. Donko, Harmon, and Peru will return the ball to his goalkeeper. Samo Atta. Addington puts one two for Benjamin Chinebua up against Adams. He finds Arthur Addington. Lovely play from Shaq. Alaji Mustafa shot blocked by Adams. We are doing four minutes of stoppage time. Bad challenge on Mubarak by Donko. I'm walking looking for Che Balfour. The weight behind the pass, too much for Che Balfour. Shaqs will go 21 points after this game. And that would not be bad for them. They didn't start the season as bright as they wanted. But they've been able to pick up the pieces and they played very well in their last couple of games. So go to Papawa. Elmina Shaks coming up with a submission. Augustino Usu. His work rate. Awesome. He's been fantastic throughout. He scored the third goal from that header. He connected from Richard Impulse, cross from the left hand side. He provided the assist in the first goal and scored the third goal. Addington. Sefa Pusin back. Free kick. He's had a decent game. Danso headed down by Obi Samoata up against Abraham Wayo. And Wayo forces Atta to concede a throw in. Abraham Wayo. Slowing up the build up of Liberty, but eventually it gets to Amperu who locates Amwaku. That's a poor cross from Amwaku. Free kick by Impon. Great connection by Augustino Uso. You know, that cross from Impon was pinpoint. And the connection, great goal for Owusu, and he assisted Benjamin Chinebua for that first goal. He's done great.
This will be the final kick of the afternoon. Ibrahim Abdullah will whistle anytime soon. So one more, two more, three more kicks. Wayo goes past Atta, brought down, yellow card for Atta. It was intentional. He knew what he was going to do. Nasty challenge. But it was needless from Arthur. Could have decided to shepherd the ball, block him, than to go for that nasty challenge. And produce cross inside. Ibrahim takes a look at his watch. Chenibwa is sprinting forward. He gets the free kick. We've gone beyond the stoppage time. It's now five minutes. It's over. Elmino Sharks have beaten Liberty professionals fair and square. They deserve to beat Liberty. They've been the better side, creating the better goal scoring opportunities, especially in the first half. Liberty had movements they could have capitalized on, but they were just unlucky. They didn't really give a fight. It's over. Liberty professionals beaten by three goals to one by Elmina Sharks here at the Indo Sports Complex in Elmina. Augustine Owusu has been good and Liberty, you can tell from their faces, didn't expect to be beaten this way, but that is it. They lost by three goals to one. It's over, match day 13, Ghana Premier League, Elmina Sharks 3, Liberty 1.